It's been a busy three days for gold prices, putting a low on Thursday of 1485, rallying all the way up to 1514 on Friday, and today going back down close to 1490. It's been a very much of a seesaw trade as fundamentals come out, we get news flashes, we get Brexit deals being delayed, we get Fed expectations all over the map, maybe now leaning towards slightly more less dovish, I won't call it hawkish, uh, equities making new all-time highs and bonds breaking out of the range. But gold, while it is seeing pretty pretty volatile price action, remains tied to that 1500 level, never really seeing any sustained trade away from it. Uh, and at this point, it's gonna take a trade uh, below 1480, or it looks like north of 1520 to really sort of to, to sort of push this trend or push this move away from 1500 for good, at least at least until something else happens. Uh, but we haven't really seen that, and the momentum seems to wane the further we get away from 1500. At least ahead of the Fed meeting, ahead of what was supposed to be the Brexit announcement, ahead of the jobs report, and and um, Ms. Lagarde taking over at the ECB. So a lot of things in this week that we had anticipated to be big news events have been whittled down really to the Fed and jobs. And right now the Fed is starting to wane as expectations for another rate hike, or excuse me, a rate cut after October are waning in the market. So gold prices right now hovering on that 1500 level still, despite the big price action over the last three sessions. Uh, if you look at the dollar, yeah, the dollar got whipsawed around as well, but it's starting to build a modest trend higher off those recent lows from about a week, week and a half ago. And I think at this point, you, you probably see the dollar index getting a little bit of short covering. Uh, certainly, they're, they're not breaking out the party hats quite yet, uh, but it, the trend is building. That will keep gold prices from going up faster if they, the two are going to go back to the historical relationship. Uh, at this point, it doesn't seem that they have. I think gold's waiting for these event risks to pass and see where the dust settles. The dollar, however, has seen a modest bid to it, uh, certainly keeping a cap on upside and expectations for that. So uh, the dollar right now not helping the gold trade, uh, but certainly gold trading on a, on a rail all its own. And lastly, the speculators. Speculators added modestly early last week to their long positions. How long can they hold on at this point? They're waiting for this event risk to come and go. Obviously, Brexit's being kicked down the, the, the way a little bit. Uh, it becomes a Fed trade, which if the Fed is going to be cutting rates uh, on Wednesday and then possibly cutting them again in December, but it looks like at this point, from what we know now, that the Fed is probably not going to be aggressively looking to cut rates in December unless some unforeseen event comes. Uh, the market pricing in about 25% odds uh, of an additional cut after this week. So I think speculators right now are going to be leaning towards getting out of their longs on any sort of uh, threat of a downtick. I don't think they need to actually see the down tickets. If things start going, the dollar starts bidding, uh, whisper talk comes in of a more uh, less dovish Fed, then I think you'll see gold speculators look to exit. So look for downside price pressures. However, we were there not too long ago uh, towards the bottom end of this range, and we were unable to push through. 1500 remains a very key level. And like I said, 1480 and 1520 are your levels you have to get to push through and sustain a trade with a settlement in order to sort of change the, the momentum, which is 1500.